One way of combining several gates together is into something called a combinatorial circuit. This is a circuit whose outputs are a Boolean function of the inputs at a given time. In particular, such a circuit has no memory. Its output only depends on the inputs it just received. So an example of this is a circuit that computes some Boolean expression. For example, if my output is F, I could desire a circuit that computes the result of this expression here that I'm writing down. So let's draw out this circuit. We have inputs A, B, and C. And to make things easy, we'll simply draw a line going out of these to the bottom. And because we need the negation of each of these variables, we will also branch off with a NOT gate and have a line coming out of that so that the negated value of each input is also available. So the signal going along this line is A, and the signal along this line below that gate is not A. And if we want to compute this expression, we can simply take the results off of these lines and combine them as necessary. For example, we need to compute each of these sub-expressions. So this is an AND of three inputs, specifically not A, which is here. And I will take that, draw a line over here, and it's okay to cross these lines because we only consider them to be connected at the point where I drew this dot. So this line carries not A, and I'll do a line here that carries B, and then one more line here that carries the value of C. Now, I am anding these three things together. Previously, we've seen AND gates that take two inputs and produce one output. But for simplicity, we can simply draw an AND gate that takes all three of these inputs, like so, and produces the result of ANDing the three inputs. So this line has a NOT A on it. This line has a B, and this line has C. So now this output is not A, and B, and C, this sub-expression there. Now, we'll use this sub-expression in a moment, but first we need to compute these other two sub-expressions. So here we have A, and not B, and C, so we'll take a from here, and then not B from here. That's A. There's not B, and then C from there. Combine these using a single AND gate for the three inputs. We have A and not B and C. Finally, we have A and not B and not C. So we'll grab A from here. And after that, we want not B. So that will come from here. And then we want not C here. Combine them with an AND gate. 
and the sub expression is a and not b and not c. Now these three sub expressions are or together and we can combine them with a single or gate like so and the output will be f this whole expression here. So at any given time a signal comes in to a, b, and c and then some short amount of time later um, because of gate delay we'll get an output here that is the combination of these inputs according to this expression at the given time that they came in. Now you should notice however that we didn't have to do this particular gate diagram to get that result because this expression can be simplified slightly. They both have a and not b, a and not b here. So this is equal to not b and b and c or a and not b and the sub-expression c or not c. Of course, C or not C will always be true, so this is reduced to the following, which takes uh, fewer gates to create. You can try creating this circuit on your own. 